I'm John Larson, Technical Trainer for Surface and Exploration Drilling at BROCK USA. Today we're going to be talking about the ECL system on the PowerRock T45 with the SC25 Drifter. At the rear of the machine, we have our components inside. Here we are at the rear of the machine. We have our ECL oil tank, our ECL air pressure regulator. To set this, we need to be in drill mode, have high flushing air on, and we adjust on the top of the regulator by lifting up and setting to the desired 3 bar, or 0.3 megapascals MPA. On the non-cab side of the machine, we can adjust the ECL timer and delay. It is located inside the electrical cabinet that houses the impact hour meter. Here we have our timer. We're going to set our pulse duration, which is the inside knob, to 20, which is plus or minus 5 drops per minute. The off time delay, we're going to set to 30, plus or minus 5 seconds. Each time it pulses, you'll see this green light illuminate. Here we have the ECL pump on the PowerRock T45. There's a port on here that you can remove the plug if the system needs to be purged and bled. Once oil comes out while the system's in operation, replace the plug and the system will then be bled. There's an LED light also on the electrical portion that will pulse and illuminate while the system is functioning per pulse. If you need further information on the ECL system on the PowerRock T45, refer to the maintenance and operator's manual as well as the schematics supplied by EpiRock for your specific machine. If you need further assistance from these videos, please go to the website epiroc.us, that's E-P-I-R-O-C dot U-S, or make note of our toll-free 1-844-437-4262 or contact your local service center that's by EpiRock or your dealer.